everybody, Garrett with Old Breed Outdoors here again with another episode of our Field to Table series. And on today's episode, we're going to make barbacoa. It's Taco Tuesday, so what better thing to do than make some barbacoa? So I'm going to use a variation of one of Hank Shaw's recipes. If you've been following along, you know Hank Shaw is one of the guys, that, my go-to guys for recipes for wild game cooking. And uh, so I'm doing a slight variation in that I'm not following the recipe perfectly as he has in there, um, but pretty close. Simply because the ratios are going to be a little bit smaller. So, I mean, like, if you've been following along with us, you know it's just my daughter and I that eat this. My wife doesn't eat the venison because she's weird. I don't know. Leave some comments below and tell her she should probably just eat the venison and not be weird. But I've got a, about a two pound roast here. Um, in his recipe, he calls for like shoulder meat or leg meat. I've, I don't have any of that because I ground it all up and used it for a bunch of other recipes that we're going to be having on the channel here. But I've got uh, this, these roasts, which I've used for doing barbacoa before and my own, other, my own recipes. But I want to give this a shot, something a little different. So using this two pound roast, I'm going to do it in the crock pot, not in the Dutch oven, just simply because I've got a bunch of your work I'm doing today. So I don't have time to sit here and mess with this oven and all that other stuff. So we're going to do this. So I've got the roast in there and then uh, calls for a quart of broth. So you can use beef broth or, or venison broth. I'm using beef broth because I don't have any venison broth. I shot, I shot all my deer in Pennsylvania this year, this last year. Um, I didn't bring any of the bones back to be able to make any broth. I can, Legally, you can bring everything but the head and the spinal column back. I just don't like to take a chance. Um, there isn't necessarily some CBD in our area there where my dad's place is, but you never know, and uh, better off just not taking the chance. If I shot, if I shoot a deer here in Virginia this year, we're we'll making some broth. At any rate, I'm using the beef broth. Then we've got some uh, <coughs> half a cup of lime juice that I squeezed from some limes. I've got, it calls for an entire red onion. I'm only going to use um, a, a little more than half a red onion. Because it, just for the size of this here, this, an entire onion would be too much. So I've got that there. Cut a little bit more up here. Because like I said, I'm just going to use a, a little bit more than half. Of the uh, of this red onion, I'm using a lot of red onion lately, and it's just got a little bit different flavor profile to it. I like it. So, throw that in there. All right. It calls for some um, the, ch uh, the chipotles and the adobo sauce. We always have that around in this house. So, two to four. I think because I like these, I'm going to go with the, the higher end, even though it's a smaller amount. So there's four of those in there. All right. <clears throat> salt. Calls for kosher salt, but as usual, I'm using sea salt. That's what I got. So one tablespoon of that goes in there. And then ground cumin. One teaspoon of ground cumin. That goes in. Ground cloves. One teaspoon of that as well. And it calls for smoked paprika. I don't have it. I just have regular paprika. One teaspoon of that. So I'm going to use that. And it also has a uh, in that in the Smoked paprika is an optional one. It also has smoked salt is another optional one. I don't have any of that, and I don't really use it enough to buy it anyway, so, so there's that. Oh, and it should be lard. Yep, quarter cup of lard, and grab that. All right, so I got this duck lard I bought a little while back. I really, I really like it. And, um, I, I bought this just because I don't use enough lard in recipes. Um, to buy like beef lard or any other kind of stuff. Um, I don't have any bear lard, otherwise I'd probably would use that. But because my wife doesn't eat all that other stuff, 
Um, I just use this because that way I can use it in all my recipes and I'm not wasting you know, stuff because I end up just going bad, going rancid in the refrigerator because I don't use it enough. So I use, I'm just using the duck um, lard. And I've, I've used it a few times now and I've uh, been pretty, pretty impressed. So there's that. Okay. Let me double check the recipe, but I think that's about ready to go. So there was one last thing here. Besides the fat, and it's cider vinegar. Half a cup of that. Alright. Now, we are ready to go. Stir this in here a little bit. And we're going to let this thing sit on high for Wow, I've got a little afternoon right now, so I'm gonna let this sit for probably at least five hours. Um, that's about. It says, you know, in, the, in there it says two to six hours, but it's also depending on those cuts of meat. With if I was using the same types of meat that he recommends in his recipe, it would probably be a little, a little bit less. Uh, the younger deer or tender meat is going to be like the lower end of the spectrum, and the older deer is going to be the higher end. But for me using this roast, I'm going to put it in, and it's not completely thawed either, so I'm going to put it in here for a little longer. So plug it in, and uh, we'll be ready to go. So I'll see you guys in about five hours or so. I'll be ready for a break from my yard work by then. And then we'll check this out, get it shredded up, and then uh, see how it goes on the tacos. Okay, welcome back. It's been about five hours. Uh, yard work hasn't gotten any easier. I am pre tuckered out and I'm going to be looking forward to this. So I'm going to pull this out. So I'm going to pull the roast out of the crock pot for shredding. And then I'll pour some stuff over it, but ooh, <laughs> yeah, it's falling apart. So we'll shred this up real quick and then uh, we'll be about ready to kick off this feast. Yeah, so you can see this is just coming apart. Really nice. This actually is one of the better ones I've done. I've found it a couple times when I've done barbacoa before that the uh, roast comes out a little bit tough, but then it softens up. So, pretty impressed with this one. So, we'll get this shredded up and be ready to go. All right, so this is shredded up pretty good. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm just add a little bit of this uh, sauce, juices in here so you get this good and coated with some of that water and whatnot. And plus the meat, what I find is that when you do this, the meat will reabsorb some of the juices that it lost in the cooking process. So it moistens it up a little bit, I think. Um, so I'll do that. Now a couple things, I've, I made sure, I remembered it after I cut the camera earlier today when we started this. So two things I forgot. Bay leaves, two bay leaves um, go into the crock pot, and then five cloves. I use um, just minced garlic that you can buy at the, in the jars. So a quarter, tea, half a teaspoon of, um, of minced garlic is equal to one clove of garlic. So five cloves total um, went in there with two bay leaves. So I did forget that part uh, before I cut the camera um, earlier, so I want to throw that in there. So I'm going to let this sit here for a little bit. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap, keep it warm, and then we'll be ready to eat. All right, folks, we're back. Got all cleaned up with a, uh, you know, the cooking paraphernalia here, and I've got myself a nice plate with some barbacoa here. This stuff looks amazing, doesn't it? I've got some beans and some rice, and I've just got the basics of the barbacoa on the uh, on the tortillas there. A little bit of cheese, and uh, as you can see, I like right here, threw in uh, some of the uh, chipotles that I, you know, the, that we threw into the, the with the roast when we cooked this down in the crock pot. But it looks amazing, does it not? So we're gonna give this a little taste test, see how this turns out. So nothing too fancy. I just wanna didn't wanna load it down with a bunch of sour cream or any that kind of stuff because I want to see how this actually tastes. Just the cheese, because you got to put cheese on everything. Whoop, making a mess already. Let's get in here and dig in. 
Um. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's unbelievably delicious. I mean, I was sitting in that crock pot for a while and it just falls apart. Look oh, that roast. It's nice and slow. And with it, man, those chipotles just really bring out the flavor in it. I mean, all, everything just brings it all out. But that is delicious. I know some of you are out there trying to lick the screen right now because you want to get a good taste of this. If you want to do that, check out the link in the description and go make it yourself because this is delicious. Excuse me while I finish my barbacoa. Thanks for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. A lot more of this content coming, hopefully. We get busy here doing some cooking. We also got some uh, some new stuff we're putting out there on the channel. We've got uh, Chris doing tip of the day, so we'll start wor working on some more of those things. You know, good little tips and tricks, things that you know you don't think about necessarily or don't learn. So I'm trying to share some of the things that we've learned over the time. So check those out. Check out all our review stuff, and just in general, follow along on the channel. It's almost time. For, we're about five weeks out from a uh, archery opener here in Virginia, and we're pretty excited. We got some special stuff coming up this season that we're we're going to be doing some collaboration and some other some other stuff. So make sure you reach down, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tell everybody you know, come to our channel, hit the subscribe button, watch our videos, leave a like, leave a comment. We appreciate all the comments. We try to get you know back with everybody you know on all of our comments, and uh, come back and see us again. Thanks.